So this is the first time that I'm here in this area of Florida and there's a few reasons why I came here. The first one is that I came to visit a girl that I met in Isla Mujeres, Mexico. And this is why we're staying in this cozy house. Uh, it's just a two bedrooms, one story house, enough for four people. We also have four furry roommates. This is mine, Silver. Then we have there, Nikki. <laughs> this guy. We have Coco over here. And we have Miley. And this area is very interesting because it has this island vibe, but we're still in the United States. So just take that in account. And here in the house, we have 22 of uh, download and three of Olu, which is okay, okay. So, I mean, I can do some work around here. We're gonna check the internet. We're gonna check the Wi-Fi speed. We're gonna check the coffee spots. Let's see if these islands are adapted for digital nomads. The Florida Keys are a string of tropical islands connected by a 120 mile highway and a series of bridges. With a landscape of clear blue water, palm trees, beach houses and marinas, you'll find a laid by community of nature lovers, creatives, divers and more. There's plenty to do around the five regions of this island change, so let's start with the closest island for the highway entrance. All right, I'm starting in the most touristic restaurant. It's called the Key Largo Kong House. I don't know, I just wanted to check it out. Like, it's supposed to have really good food, so I just ordered this simple combo, which is a soup and a wrap. Mm. So we have a beer from the Keys, the Key Billy. It's so hot in the Keys, but this beer is very refreshing. I don't get why it's a famous place. Like, food is, food is really good. Oh, it was not spicy, but like the sauces, they were, oh man. And talking about the name of this restaurant, there's the Kong House. It reminds me that the Keys, they're very well known because they're supposed to be their own republic. So that's why you're gonna see that blue flag with the Kong Republic uh, logo, which is very interesting, but I mean, they're part of the states, which is a very fun fact. The first coffee shop that I check, it's named Coco Plum Place, and it's very pretty. The best thing is the Wi-Fi wipe is really, really fast. The only thing, let's say, that most of the seatings, they're like outdoors, so it can get a little bit hot. So they roast their own coffee and it's really delicious. And they have these pastries. They have either vegan or gluten-free options. This is a coffee cheesecake. And you have the highway just next door. That's why you can hear the cars. It's a really nice place. As we cook food at home a lot, there's plenty of supermarkets along the highway to get all kinds of groceries. Now, talking about food, in the Florida Keys, they eat a lot of seafood. The thing is that Corny and their family, they're all vegans. And it's something that I'm very, very interested in. So, in this video, I want to show you all the alternatives that we have found. Tonight, actually, is like the end of the lobster season. We're going to celebrate that. We're going to eat like an alternative lobster. And we're cooking it. We're going to enjoy. So, what, what are we celebrating? Crustacean liberation. Yay. Good. So, crustacean liberation is the last day of lobster hunting season in the Florida Keys. No more lobsters for anyone. Cheers. Lobsters. Wait, but I need to bring that. The mangrove forest is an important part of the Keys ecosystem and it's a great place to paddle through narrow waterways and enjoy the relaxing views. Watch out, watch out! All this wine pot is so nice right here. So cool. Look at all these nice houses over here. Should we get a house somewhere here? Sure. <laughs> it's nice. And later that day, we went out to eat one of the most delicious vegan pizzas in the area. around in this area well as most of the places in the state you need a car and fortunately Corny has one so she's lending me to move around whenever I go to a coffee shop but if I didn't have that option I would either rent something or I don't know there's like there's buses that you can take it's just one one big road and that also comes with a lot of problems because let's say there's an accident somewhere around the road man 
traffic it's horrible i think the coolest thing about driving in this highway is the views because you can see the sea and the lake on the other side the cars passing by it's a beautiful beautiful everyday drive So the second reason is because my camera, the one that I used to have on a travel in Mexico, it broke. I had to be shooting with the iPhones, so it's not the best quality. So I apologize in advance if some of the sh footage is not the best. And now that it's fixed, I'm actually gonna sell this one because it's a little bit big for me. I bought a new one. So this is my new camera. It's a Sony a7C with a Tamron 70 28 millimeters and the microphone. It's such a difference of size, right? Yeah, now that I have a better equipment, I can finally make cooler videos for you. So this is Key Dives in Alamorada, and Courtney, she works here. And the third reason that I'm here is because they're gonna go diving more. Because it's funny that when we met in Isla Mujeres, we decided to uh, do that uh, open water, like learning to dive in Cozumel, and she was my instructor because she's an scuba instructor. And now here, I'm gonna do the advanced open water, which is like the next step of being a better diver. And uh, there's like a few, they call it adventure dives. I need to choose which ones that I need to do, at least five, and that's gonna be interesting. Scuba diving is an important activity in the Keys, as it's home to the only living coral barrier reef in the States. In this sanctuary, you can see diverse marine species, explore epic shipwrecks, look into the sea nightlife, or simply enjoy the underwater adventures. just arrived home but I wanted to open it here this is the most important part of my course yeah and this officially makes me an advanced open water this is so cool really really cool I'm excited it's oh you've done. got your AOW Mike this is the owner of the Kidai shops I gotta thank you for everything too so uh, it's, it's I just I just I'm just the guy at the top I, I, I'm not the, I really am not responsible for all that goes on <laughs> And to celebrate my achievement, near the dye shop, there's a nice brewery with lots of delicious beers and a garden to chill out. Now, to be honest, I don't go to Starbucks that much anymore, but the thing is in the States, it's kind of like the most reliable place right now. I mean, I have found a few cool coffee shops, but Starbucks is just like, they have good Wi-Fi, coffee is okay, and seats, like, they have really comfortable seats. It's an okay spot. Also, if you want to know if you're in Florida, you're going to see like this parking only for boats. Look at that. There's a lot of them. That's crazy. So Square Grouper is one of the places that I wanted to check because like, food is really delicious, they have vegan options, they have also fishes if you want. But the place is really nice, like the view, because it's just in front of a dock. Yeah, and I got these cauliflower tacos, and like the vegan option, but man, look at that. They're delicious, plus some fries as a side. Also, I have this banana bread beer. <laughs> very interesting uh, combination. Now I like the name of this restaurant because it's called the Square Grouper and that's the name of like these uh, wheat packages that were found on the South Florida like waters like square packages of, of wheat that's why they call it the Square Grouper it's just it's a fun fact. I like the paintings on the wall. The whale shark? There's a cool museum with interesting artifacts, fun souvenirs, and a plenty of history about scuba diving. The first drive back is marvelous. I know the blue crumbs. No? Look at your face. Really? I thought you were going to have more. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm happy whenever I find a coffee roaster in place. And this one from Ala Morada, um, coffee is really good. They have this small square plaza that you can do some work. Wi-Fi, it's okay, okay. And the best thing is that you can buy your coffee because it's a coffee roaster. The greatest, greatest thing is that this blend. It's a combination of the coffee roasting with eye care. That is an organization that is trying to preserve all the coral reefs. And they're also partnering it up with key dives. So it's a cool all combination. And actually today they're gonna plant some corals, so let's go and check it out. I helped um, a team plant another seven. Oh, nice. So we did. We finished our cluster and then started another one. Oh, I, I did five. Yay! Oh, good for you. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, we'll see later how they grow. And you'll have babies too. Yeah. Coral babies. Yeah. <laughs> coral babies. And I'm having the key lime pie, which is one of the traditional desserts, American desserts, but also here in the Florida Keys. It's made out of the lime that is made in the Keys. That's why it's called the key lime pie. And the interesting part, this is the one that I'm having, it's a vegan one, because there's no egg nor milk on this pie. So it might be a different taste, but at least on the looks, right. it looks nice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, right? that is good. All right? That is really good. What is that? So this is the Ann Beach, and for what I heard, it was destroyed by the Hurricane Irma, and just like a year ago, they recreated the whole thing, they have like boardwalks, uh, the people can walk, it's actually very, very beautiful. As sunsets are really beautiful, there's plenty of spots like bars or just a dock where locals go to watch and enjoy the views. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And as the night goes down, you'll find many bars, restaurants, and even karaoke spots to enjoy with your friends. And despite that it's easier to move by car and the keys, you can actually rent or buy a bike and go around because they have bike paths in the highway. So I think it's pretty fun. Let's say you go to the coffee shop, you go to the gym. Now the keys are trying to do something very interesting. You see this mailbox with a diver, like everywhere in the keys, you find very cool mailbox like this one. You see manatees, animals, you see octopus. The most famous is the flamingos. It's very enjoyable to go to the street and find all these cool mailboxes. So Café Mocha is becoming one of my favorite coffee shops in the area. This one is in Tavernier, in the area of Key Largo. But I think there's another one in Alla Morada and I think way in the end in Key West. But I mean the coffee, this is a cold brew because it's a little bit hot outside. They have like pastries, it's chocolate pastry. But right now I want it to be outside here because I want to do some work and I also want to show you a website that I'm using right now. It's called Nomad List and I use it to check all the cities that I want to go whenever I want to travel as a digital nomad. And there's so many options, but I was also checking around this area. Like they have all the information about Key West, for example. They show you the overall score, the internet, which is really fast, like places, the cost of living. And also there's a Slack channel because Nomad List is community based. And here, for example, there's two channels that you can use if you're in the Keys. One of them is the, the one in the United States. Like you can just ask whatever you want about the States and like uh, if you're around. Like, but there's also the Miami one, which is the closest to the Keys. So I actually wrote if anybody was in the Keys and I found this girl who we might meet. So this is what I like about Nomad List. You can um, make friends and, ha and ask questions about anything that you want about the place you're going to stay. So check them and they're my sponsor on my channel and sponsor of this video. So thank you Nomad Liz. So 
this is one of my favorite places in Marathon because I mean the place is nice, the food is amazing, coffee is great. The best thing is the Wi-Fi, man, it's so fast. It should be the American standard, you know, but you don't find it everywhere. But this place really really cool. There's a total hospital to learn more about them and where sick and injured sea turtles are nurtured back to health and release. Sombrero Beach has a sandy strip that is a perfect perch for sunning, snorkeling or just hanging out. So it's a small beach, therefore like it's packed a lot of people here. Water is cold but now that it's so sunny, it's actually really refreshing and just a good way to spend the whole day in marathon. So nice, nice, nice beach. Silver, how are you doing? Is it too hot for you? I've seen the Cafe Cubano signs mm -hmm. everywhere, but I never tried them. Like, what's the. Uh, it's like espresso, the whole espresso with sugar comes in this. Okay. It's very strong. Ooh, can I try them? Oh, yeah, it's strong. It's like, it has sugar flavor. It's good. It's actually, yeah. Oh, that will wake me up. <laughs> On the weekend we went on a road trip to visit the Florida Islands of the Keys, crossing the famous Seven Mile Bridge, one of the longest segmental bridges in the world. And along the road we kept searching for the famous deers of the Keys. Oh, man, okay, we actually find these key deers that they were saying about and need to be careful because they're just looking at me. This is a key deer. Look at the baby's baby deer, so cute. Alright, so that baby coffee place, I thought it's gonna have, you know, some tables to do some work. But it's just a coffee roaster. Coffee is great, but um, just a simple spot before we get to Key West. Welcome to Key West. Justin, which is Cordy's brother, has this van, and we found a campground, and it's like way more affordable. And it's actually way more fun because we're having all this space. Uh, so it's more as an adventure that you're staying in a hotel, like there are fancy hotels here, you know, for the Instagram pictures and all stuff, but this is cool. The southernmost city, Key West, is a very touristic place with beautiful houses, romantic venues and spectacular views. There's always something to do here. Yeah, but this restaurant has to have all these vegan options, which is cool. I think it's the very first time that I ever tried a kombucha that is a beer. A 9.1. That's gonna be crazy. How's the beer? It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. thank you. What do you order? Um, vegan Philly cheesesteak. Oh, the Philly, the, the one that you were saying. Hi, I'm curious to hear <laughs> if you like it. Ah, oh, how is it? It's awesome. So, vegan cheesecake for you? How is it? Awesome. Alright, welcome to Hemingway House. Yeah. So that's the whole Hemingway House. Pretty cool. The cats, the six bus, it's so weird. But it's a nice place. To get to know more about the story, how he wrote some books, where did he go? It's very interesting to get to see when you're in the Key West. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel so that. mine's supposed to have peanut butter. I never tried this. It was weird but good at the same time. Man, so everyone's trying to see the sunset over here. Well, how crowded is this thing? Oh, and one thing that I like about Kitaibs a lot is that they care about the environment. We did the coral reef transplantation and they don't do spear fishing. They try not to kill animals and actually help the whole ocean. But what is cool is that one thing they do every month is to do a dive cleanup and we're gonna pick up all the trash. We're gonna just give, give our part to make the ocean better and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then we had dinner with the local community of divers just to chat about our dive adventures and eat some delicious vegan food. For the last adventure, just on the entrance of the Keys, we visited the Everglades National Park, full of mangroves, pine flywoods, and even some alligators. We brought some uh, snacks for the alligators. Mm -hmm. This one, it's a yeah. well, it says Florida gar. Mm, Mexico is peje lagarto. There's a guy over there. Small alligator <laughs> on the way. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're walking because we I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah, why. Yeah, let the kid test his feet. So Who's going to be the first one to pass? I wonder. Yeah, if you go all the way around. <laughs> and after having a great time in the Keys, well, it was time to continue the journey. Hey, thank you for watching the video about being a digital nomad in Florida Keys. To be honest, I didn't know much about it until I met this girl. And when I went there, I realized it's such a cool spot. Like, if you work online, you can get there and have the beach. It's like the paradise in the States. That's why I wanted to make this video for you. And I have here my laptop so I can show you more about this place. And because if you want to get there, like the main entrance is through Miami. And you can get to the Miami International Airport or just get to the Fort Lauderdale. And then just get a Greyhound that gets you to the first island. It takes around two hours to get there. Or you can rent a car because as I said, like it's so much better to get the car and go around because it's such a long highway. And you're going to find in the links in the description this Google map with every place that I recommend. Like, every single place that I went and that I really recommend is going to be there. But as I said, like the, the island is divided by five regions and you start in Key Largo and you have like some diving areas, like some cool restaurants. This is Tavernier near where I stayed. And then you go to Isla Morada, like the diving shop is there. And you go further and you have Marathon, where you can have the Toro Hospital, the Sombrero Beach. And even more, you have the lower keys where you can find the key deers and like lots of amazing views over there. And finally, you have Key West, which is like the most touristic part of the island. But if I zoom it out, it doesn't look like, but it's actually really, really big. It takes around two hours to get from Marathon to Key West, so just take that into account. And if you want to know how much I spent for a whole month, I have this table that shows you like the cost of living there. But just take into account that like your miles may vary. And also I stay with someone, so I like kind of share some of the costs there. And I was looking for a place though, so you can get around 1200 for a sure house. And then uh, the groceries, like whatever we pay for like the vegan stuff is a little bit more expensive. And I ate a lot because I want to check all the places out. So. When I didn't have a car, I took Uber sometimes, so it takes like $10, $12 for each ride. But I was mostly having a car, so spending more in gas. And also going out, drinking, 
Scuba diving is like $90 for two tanks, but I actually did more than that. So let's just give you the example of one tank. So at the end, I spent $2,670, which is kind of like the US standards, you know? But you can actually spend even more because everything there, it's a little bit expensive. So it can add up if you go out, if you drink, and if you get the car, and you get all the gas, all these things. And that's the whole video. Don't forget to check nomadlist.com. Here's my profile. You can check the next places that I'm going to be to where maybe we can meet somewhere there. Just sign up to nomadlist.com, please. It will help me a lot and it will make me make more videos for you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it now. It will help me a lot. Just give it a like to this video. Give me a comment. What do you think about it? And see you in the next one, my friend. Ciao.